weekend family, YouTube family, <laughs> welcome to the weekend. It's not cute not knowing. And this is the weekend edition with the help of David A. Gaines. We get fancy and we're so glad that you're here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Like we do during the week, we give out hugs. So come on, lean in. Come on, let's get this hug. It's time to know, everybody. Welcome to the weekend edition. I've got an update on some projects that Tyler Perry is doing. First, let's talk about Six Triple Eight. Starring Carrie Washington, it hits theaters limited December the 6th, but it starts streaming on Netflix December the 20th. Six Triple Eight is a movie that is inspired by the first and only Women's Army Corps unit of color. They served overseas, making sure that the soldiers got their mail during World War II. They dealt with racism, sexism, and a grueling work condition, but guess what? They were committed to serving their country with honor and distinction. Kerry Washington is starring in Hits Theaters December the 6th, Netflix December 20th. Another project that Tyler Perry is working on, he's teaming up with Devon Franklin on a faith based movie called R&B. And I'm hearing that Babyface, Jermaine Dupree are going to be on this movie and working on it along with Felicia Rashad, actress, singer, Soraya, and Tyler Lefley. Okay, we got some magazine covers to tell you about. Vice President Kamala Harris gracing the cover a Vogue magazine, and we're gearing up for Gladiator 2. Check out these pictures of Paul Mescal. I had a chance to speak with LeVar Burton, the actor, Roots, we know him from Reading Rainbow. During the hype of the search for the new host of Jeopardy, many people wanted LeVar Burton to fill in. Well, he didn't get it, but guess what? He got another show. LeVar Burton is the host of Trivial Pursuit, which airs Thursday nights at 9 on The CW. During our conversation, LeVar says, this feels so much better than filling in, taking over from a show that everyone knew. He says with Trivial Pursuit, now he can just step into it and call it all his own. Chanel Jones from the Today Show has another side gig that she does. It's all part of NBC's The More You Know. Chanel Jones from the Today Show is the host of Wild Child, and it's such an interesting show because it shows baby animals when they were born, how they play and learn how to survive in the jungle or wherever they are. It's an amazing show and a new season has started Wild Child with Chanel Jones on NBC. They're gearing up for the London start of Vanessa Williams in The Devil Wears Prada where Vanessa Williams takes on the role of Miranda Priestley. The fashions are incredible. London's West End is getting ready to debut, but I can tell you it probably won't happen until next year, or maybe early 2026. The Devil Wears Prada is going to be coming to Broadway. Elton John is the composer. Yes, it's based on the movie, but get ready previewing and doing a Broadway run, but the devil wears Prada with Vanessa Williams. Can't wait to see it. Get ready for fashion's biggest night. We're talking about the Met Gala, and this one is going to be extra special because it's the first time black men take the lead. Yes, all black men are going to be the co-chairs, like Pharrell, LeBron James, Coleman Domingo, ASAP Rocky, and race car driver Lewis Hamilton. And now it's time for Ask Auntie. Got to put the new readers on. Keep those letters and, and comments and stuff coming in because I will let you know. Patricia Young, 9298. Patty, do you think Diddy's trial will be televised like OJ's? I tell you what, if it is, it'll be must-watch 
TV, but I don't know if certain cases can even be on. It will dominate the headlines, much like it's dominating now. But if it does, like a court TV or somebody, it will be must-see TV. You got to leave your comments so I can ask your, answer your questions. Valerie Jones, 1013. Out, Auntie, out of all of the movies you saw this summer, which one was your number one? Valerie, Valerie, I don't think I went to the movies any this summer. I heard a lot about Deadpool. It's streaming. I didn't really go to the movies this summer. I'm still waiting for like the Gladiators and the Wicked. I don't know. I don't do horror movies and they seem, I really kind of like, if I wasn't working, I was in the house watching streaming. So I didn't go to the movies a lot this summer, which is surprising to me. Joanne Marshall, 575. Auntie Patty, were you ever married? I can keep my um, glasses on. No, but I always thought I would because I'm a homemaker. You know, I love to cook, but you know, these men are playing out here today. I've never married. I'm, I'm a mom. I'm a single mom. Um, came close, dreamed, picked out. Uh, the wedding dress, and I know that Stevie Wonder's ads is going to be one of the songs, and Jeffrey Ann's going to LTD. I've got the playlist. Oh, the playlist is done. I'm going to have the best DJs, but no, I've never been married. It'll be funny if if I do. I guess the title of it will be called Love Will Conquer All, but, but no. And this is what I'm afraid of, because I've been single and just doing my own thing. Could I cohabitate with another person? That's always a question. Paula Bright, 3864. Hi, Patty. My son will be 54 on November the 5th. We always have a small party for him. What will you do this year on your birthday? Well, I did a big party last year, turned in 60. This year, it's going to be low key. It'll be dinner with family. It's in the it's the day before election day. And I think that all of my efforts are going to be about election day i i just really haven't thought of anything because it's the day before election day and i just know the importance of all of us going out to the polls and making our vote count and such a turbulent time in our country that really wasn't planned anything i celebrate milestones i'll probably celebrate 65 lord willing i have a big party for when i'm 70 but the ones in between i kind of like just take it and family and just just very glad and graceful that i'm here i am so ready for halloween look this is the only time of the year when i do when i do black nails and i'm gonna tell you what's funny there was a time i would never i was so conservative with my nails i would never step out of the box and do this but this is what we're doing this time because of this time of the year Keep your questions coming in. Ask Auntie is turning into be a very popular segment. So do leave your questions and I will answer them. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. We do want to keep you informed um, during the week, even on the weekends, about what's going on with pop culture in the world of entertainment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And like I said, leave a comment. David A. Gaines, he puts all of this together. I'm just a voice, just, just bringing you the information, but it's David A. Gaines. And David, thank you so much for taking time to put all of this together. It's not cute not knowing, but now we all know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.